Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing uh, something different and today I'm actually going to be doing another how to make comics video. Now, um, it's because um, last time, like a, a long time ago, I made a how to make comics video and it seems you guys really like that video. I mean, there was like a lot of views. So I guess I was like, um, why don't I make a part two? And in this one, I'm going to explain a lot of a uh, bunch of stuff and how to make comics and it's going to be better quality, better content um, than the last one. So before we get started, make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Also check out my Instagram, Mark Brand TV, no capital letters, no spaces, and let's get right into it. Now, um, I'm going to show you the parts of a comic and what you need to make a simple comic. So I've got this packet right here. Um, I'm just going to explain to you um, what needs to be in a comic. So um, in basic comics, there can be a protagonist and an antagonist. Um, the protagonist is the main character or the hero of the story. The antagonist is the rival character or the or the like villain like in um the dogman books there's we have dogman which is the main character and then let's say pd um well there's a lot of others well pd's good now so i'll just say like the mayor so the mayor is, was like the bad guy um if he was trying to destroy the city uh, so that would be the rival character so um oh let's go here yeah, here's the rival character antagonist. Um, haven't done anything here yet. So um, also point of uh, view, a story will sound different depending on who's telling it. Write what is happening in the picture above from three different points of view. One, the man, two, the dog, and three, the cat. Um, so you can use point of view to make your comic too. Um, let's get to this part which is the cover page. Most comics need a cover page. Um, it's just so that when someone sees the comic, um, they'll, they'll see the cover and they're gonna be like, oh, I wanna open this book up and see because the, uh, the cover would like get them to open up the book. Um, so on a cover, you can, um, you can do the title. The title um, must be the main thing on a cover, probably. Um, the title. You can put the title up top. You can put it in the middle. You can put it on the bottom, on the sides, maybe even. It's basically your choice. You can do it in any font you want. You can be creative with the title. Um, for example, in the Captain Underpants books, they have this kind of big title. They have big block letters, 3D letters, too. They have that. And what a cover also needs is the, it needs a some kind of picture. So it needs some kind of characters and maybe a background just so y you can uh, put like a bunch of different characters that are in your story and like maybe some action into your cover just so if someone sees the cover, they're going to want to open up the book. So here, parts of a story, um, storyboarding. So this is a really important part. Um, some In some comics, you'll see the introduction. How does the story um, start? When, where, who? So like the introduction is like what starts, where, where, is, the st where is the story? Where is the setting? Um, you know, how, how it just starts out. Then number two is rising action. What thing starts to happen that will mean to that will lead to the main problem or the climax? So in the in the rising action, you can like do some stuff that will soon lead up to the problem. There, the the problem is beginning to happen. Um, number three is climax, the main problem. The climax is also the most exciting part of the story, um, so it'll have all, all the action maybe in a climax, the rival character and the, um, and the protagonist, um, they will fight. That's basically what will um, be in a comic. Number four is falling action. How is your hero going to fix the problem? put this up for you um so it, um how is basically yeah you guys understand probably so and then con the conclusion how does it end um what happens to the hero and villain where is the 
hero at the end of the story where is the villain so that is the parts of a story then um a good story answers questions so introduction where does the story take place who is the main character what does the main character want rising action who's the rival character what is the problem what does the main character do to solve the problem climax what happens when the main character tries to solve the problem what does the rival character do do to stop the main character what um something does something exciting happen for for cli- um following action how does the main character stop the rival character how is the problem solved conclusion does the main character get what they wanted what happens to the rival character what is the main character going to do next so that's sort of um some of the questions that you need to answer when you're um doing parts of a story again this is all like sort of your choice um just it's recommended to um do all this parts of a story just to so the comic is exciting and more of advanced this is actually just beginner mostly cover page option two Write dialogue using the speech bubbles provided. Use our characters and speech bubbles to get started and then make your own. So here's some different speech bubbles um, where the words are. So this is probably normal. This is like loud. This is also loud, I guess. This is probably thinking. This is also normal. Yeah, here's some ideas for speech bubbles. Um, Here is how they can be arranged. Create your own. Draw several types of speech bubbles. Um, draw at least two characters talking to each other and then the rough draft um, so if you want to create a comic um, an advanced comic um, a good idea will be to do the rough draft the rough draft is sort of, sort of like um, where you where you uh, write what happens you don't draw anything you just write it's just basically like a book without pictures um, so you just write it's a it's a rough draft so you like think of what can happen in the story and um you correct punctuation and stuff like that (laughs) then here's the writing checkup here's the other part of the rough draft does your story have a beginning middle and end does your story have an introduction rising action climax falling action and conclusion did you use superhero dictionary on page 11 to check your spelling can someone read your story and understand what you were thinking as the author can someone read your story and answers the question on page six superhero dictionary right here so um you can actually use this too i'll give you a chance to like um pause the video so here's some superpowers um i'll read like telekinesis magical mind control and portal indestructible explosion here's some words that um just a dictionary so you know how to spell them here's um time and place so building well just a bunch of words that some people might not know how to spell and then things and adjectives Alien, uncover, zombie, YouTube, what? Human. Yeah, and there's sort of the end of the packet, um, just to get you an idea of um, of the parts of a comic. Also, I'll um, share with you what I did. So, um, here's sort of... Here's sort of what um, I did, just to give you an idea. I did Mark Brand comics, um... Action thrills, laughs, intense detail lines, comics, Mark Brand, RC. Um, this actually might be my future logo. I'm thinking of it. So new now with more detail and extra tooth plus. There's the tooth plus. Extra salty. There's the salt. Extra cheesy. There's the cheese. Mark Brand subscribe. I did this like logo thing. Um, by Mark Brand, YouTube. Um, so I also colored it. I outlined it with um, pen and then colored it with color pencils. I don't prefer uh, crayons or markers. Well, markers obviously not because it might bleed through unless you're like using cardstock paper. 
um, and then um, crayons, I just think they're kind of messy. I want it to stand out and everything, so I use color pencils. So that's how it looks. I also use, um, as you can see, 3D block letters uh, for the title, Mark Brand Comics, like that. Flip this for you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Border's falling apart. There we go. So the introduction. Um, Hi, I'm George and I'm Harold. We're the creators of the comic you are reading. You might have read our Dogman comics, but we hope you enjoy this one too. Enjoy. And I didn't write anything so far in here, but here's just the comic panel with what they might look like. So you, you can draw out the comic pan panels with pencil and maybe outline them with, with like pen um, and then draw the stuff inside so and by the way introduction you don't have to do the introduction i just thought it would be a good idea to do it just like um i i made up this georgian herald stuff from the dogman comics um <laughs> just to make it more realistic okay so um i'll also show you this um so i found down in the closet a binder and I might have actually shown this um, in the in the last how to make comics video um, it's actually I, I opened it up and saw that looked at the stuff inside so here's the comics binder there's dogman on the front and also um, and also grumpy cat hold on I'll get this off camera and open it for you there we go okay yeah this big binder so um when i opened it i was really surprised because i never it, it was a long time since i've seen all this stuff so here's actually uh dog man um how dog man was born and stuff from the past this was a long time ago when i uh, did this so my writing's not very good either um extra salty new now with more detail and extra two fuss i like doing all this like action throws last and all this on the side here um i just think it's it's really cool and funny extra salty um with fleas uh, yeah um mark brand so if you look inside here's the contents you don't have to do a contents this is obviously also like stained up i don't know why just um I did a content, yeah, I'm not going to read this for you because it's going to be long, but, um, Diary of a Unique Bean, okay, that's spelled incorrectly, but, um, there's an actual bean on there, actual size, I'm alive, so there we go, Dogman and the Fight of Petey and Piggy, I'm not going to show you that stuff today, because it's just going to be long, and also The Adventures of Captain Underpants, down full color, Action Thrills, Laugh, Tra La La, I did this really cool cover, here, and there's some stuff in here, alright, and by the way, there's also an envelope right here, and it says old comics, and I took a look inside and I found a bunch of really cool stuff, like a lot of really old stuff. And I actually remember doing some of them in second grade. I'll take out some of them. Okay, so Dogman Triple Flipperamas, there's five. There we go. Wow, I did a lot of stuff in here. Dogman meets Fatty Finger. <laughs> what? I remember like doing this in second grade and then the original book of dogman oh and then there's point collector too okay that's weird oh some kind of board game maybe i don't know okay so um oh and there's an original uh point collector extra easy okay so we um, and there's characters. There's some characters in there. Oh, wait, I remember doing this. So you do the characters and then you take them through this entire board game and you have to get them through back to the finish line. Wow, that's pretty cool. And 
the green book about Dogman got the cheese touch. Oh, from Diary of Old Kid. Hat, super scent nose, hand boots, big brain, PU. This book includes the cheese touch. I don't know why this is cut apart. Um, Dogman, just another Dogman cover. And then, what is this? Okay, the epic adventures of Dogman. Well, this is actually a really good in, um, example of like um, the cover, because um, I see the cover and I f the first thing I see is this is this um, PD I guess on this rocket thing. I don't know what that is. Then another PD and a rocket and Dogman in an airplane. So that's definitely gonna make me uh, try to open up the book. Well, just open it up and see what's inside because I wanna find out what's like happening. So, um, oh wow. Includes more fleas, action, more fun, suspense, romance laughs with all characters. And with fleas, of course. <laughs> the Epic Adventures of Dogman. Flipperama in every chapter. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good cover. characters oh so um apparently this right here is brick man evil pd angry pd no oh, so this was angry pd and this was evil pd dog man fatty finger chief officer knight philly and the butler i'm not gonna read this though um, so, The Adventures of Dogman, five chapters to read, the mix-up comic. Oh, this one's actually, this one's actually, um, colored. Okay, so some stuff in here. And Dogman, or sorry, Davy of the Winky Kid, Roderick Rules, I also like that. Um, so... I'm gonna put this away. Okay, that was a lot of stuff to look at. So I hope that gave you an idea of um, what you can do to do some some of your own comics. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, what's this? Mark Sweetie greatest jokes. Triple flipperamas poster in there. All right, so. Let's bring this back to the beginning. Sorry guys, this is all falling apart. <laughs> Fix this for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you that gave you some ideas of how to make comics. Um, just another good video for you guys. So um, make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Comment down below what you think I should read slash do next. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.